Good morning, guys. I wanted to share some of my work on this with you, and it's just making a lot of noise, so I'm going to try to keep my hands out of your way so that you can actually see what I'm doing. And um, just having fun with it. I am in my workspace, and it is actually more difficult in here. I wanted to thank all of you for the thumbs up. I appreciate that. If you haven't clicked like and subscribed and you like my work, I would appreciate it if you did that. So my plan is to share as much of this in small segments with you as I can because it is quite beautiful and in one minute I will show you the dimension of this because I will be working on these. These are the back branches. You can see that's why I have them twisted like that. All of these back branches will be beaded and then they will be brought onto the hoop. So they'll go in between some of these It'll just be a big, dimensional, beautiful tree of life. And I'm quite excited about this one. I did turn that bead so that that orange isn't showing so much, but let me just flip it a little bit more. We'll leave it like that. I might still use them. I do like the green pot. And, um,. If I can put the orange pot in the back and keep my hand like this so you can see. This is a process and I don't want it to break. But and I have to make sure because these wires are a little bit short on the, it it depends. I may run into short wires or not. It just depends on the twist. So, with that being said, that's why I always tell you, twist with your longest wire. And also, I'm putting the leaf on the longest wire because that will shorten this up. Let me see if I can move this so you can see. And I have to support every single thing I touch or else it will break. And we're not going to have that. Yesterday I worked out at the table and I had it on my lap and it worked out really, really well for me. See, this is the kind of bead that has the orange in it. Uh, I'll use it. The little flex don't bother me. When I get like this, that bothers me. I can't keep my hands where you can see them. I can't keep this project where it needs to be. Here we go.
not going to cut them now because I can't, not at this angle. But I do need to get in here and make a few bends. And that's also difficult at this angle, but this is how I'm doing them. And after I finish all the ones on the front, I'll be attacking these ones. And as you can see, I'll put them in between and you'll see more of the dimension on the tree. So, let's see if we can get this one. Beat it up. One section at a time, little by little, I'll get this project done. Yeah, this is really hard for me to do with standing up like this because now I have that wire showing. Okay, let's try that again without breaking this wire. My goodness. Um, I think I'll throw a bead on it. I didn't like that piece of wire showing. Now it looks okay. I don't know why this looks so dark to me. So I have a mixture of uh, four millimeter um, green bicones that I'm using on the leaps. And these seed beads are six slash zero in size. And everything else, this is just a mix of beads that I've used on various other projects over the years. And um, they're all purchased on Amazon. And that's the reason why I have such a big collection of these. 
I did buy um, some more of that green uh, average tree. I, I can't even say it. But uh, that's the only thing that I bought for this project. Um, and some green crystals. Everything else is stuff that I've had. I bought a lot of green crystals because this is the second um, wedding tree with the green and gold wedding tree of life for my son and his future bride which is happening very soon I made her one of these as a gift and this one I'm going to give to the person that is um, officiating the wedding it's a very dear friend of hers That's how it's going to look. How beautiful is that? I'm quite pleased. So now when I bead these ones right here, I'll bring them over this way. So let me make sure that you can see what I'm doing. Um, now I'm going to another section. This is the completed first section of the tree. Now these ones are going to be longer, much longer, so it'll be nice and full with the whole top. I could have twisted them out more, but I, just, I don't have a need to save the beads. I've got more than enough of this tree. So I got the wreath yesterday, and if you saw the short that I made um, I love it it is so beautiful um, grapevine wreath I'll be working in the one I've already started today in this that's my project for today no hoop well this is a hoop but not a little hoop I also bought some um, 8 inch hoops that I'll be using with the newer, the um, other wire. I'll, I'll show it to you when I start working. It'll give my hands a little break. My wrist is really hurting me. But it won't stop me, ever. Unless I have to have surgery. <laughs> We're not going to go there. I'm all set with that. These are going to give me grief. <laughs> no, no. the leaf with this wire because it is a lot longer so basically what I'm doing is after every cluster I put a leaf I'm alternating green and gold and um, the first one had only crystals and I alternated one crystal with the seed bead and I think I overdid the leafing on it because they're everywhere the gold so, but the tree is absolutely beautiful. I like the shape. I'm pleased with everything about it. And this one too. More than the other one. I've posted for everyone that's new some shorts and they show um, all the double hoop trees that I've made. And I've worked a little bit on them. Just so you can see how I do it. In case you ever want to try it is definitely a big project but I'm up for it 
I will be making my regular trees for you and um, adding them in. should help keep uh, this from moving keep me where you can see my hands oops I always after a leaf you have to support your work and put a few twists in there I am not liking the way this is looking with the twisting at this angle This is the beads I'm working out of. There's so many. And I will wrap with this longer wire, do the twisting. Like that. I'll leave that like that because I can give this a tug. This tree is so massive that putting it onto the hoop won't be an issue. So I'm gonna do one more. And then I'll end this for a little while, but I'll pick it back up. I just thought I'd pop in and share. I don't mind these beads, I just don't like the little flecks of orange. A little bit is okay, but they are not my favorite. And I am just overthinking everything because this is going to be so massive, it's not going to, it's not going to matter. Like I wouldn't put this one on. This one here has a lot of orange on it. Which is natural looking, I, I don't know what, I just don't care for it. When I come back and work on this, I'll work on it um, in the front room. I might have to mute it. I'll definitely have to mute me, but you'll be able to see better what I'm doing because I'm probably going to work on my lap. 
which is nice because I can put a dress on and any beads that fall will land on my lap. Most of them, anyway. But, you know, with the cats, they don't eat them. They just bat them around. And little Finn, I did not realize I had dropped a big bead. And he's got such big claws, you know, like mitts. And he went from the carpet onto the hardwood floor, and I hear click, click, click. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> it was stuck. And he was kind of like making a little limp. He couldn't get it out. So, of course, I figured it out. And just <laughs> all I had to do was squeeze a little bit on the pads of his feet, his paw. And uh, the beat came off. But when I do drop them, he, they run. I got it. And then they'll bat it all around. But I try not to because I just don't like it. My babies. So for everyone that's new here, um, I do chit chat. I really talk about my cats, which I should probably just talk about what I'm doing. Um, it's just the way I roll. I like to teach and I like to talk. I like your company. And if you haven't given me a thumbs up, I like those too. I did not realize that they were very important and they help you to find me and other people to find me. YouTube will show my work more and um, that's important to me. I want to show as many people as I can how to make a tree of life. Because I'm that passionate about it, this is just, I, I can't even tell you how much I love doing this. I like making them and sharing my uh, work with you because, you know, I would like for you to be able to, oops, to make one if that, you know, is something you'd be interested in. I, I love the, just the feel of the beads. It's just such a good thing. Very therapeutic for the mind and soul. <laughs> my mind and soul. Yeah, that doesn't have a hole. So all of the beads, um, I don't know how to list, and I don't edit because, oh, what a jumper. Actually, that just flicked off. But anyway, I did create a playlist. I think there's two, and <clears throat> I added, you know, the stuff that I use so that you can see, and uh, I try to share that way. Let's just don't, you know, I've, I've tried to learn to edit and all that, and I'm just not good, like with, you know, remembering stuff, and I've never been good with technology at all, and I realize it is a very big, big handicap for me, especially doing what I do, but for the ones of you who have stayed and have started making trees and all the chit chat and it makes it worth it for me. So, with that being said, we've done four branches. I've chit chatted enough and trying to keep within the half hour. I will attach those and then when I work on the back, they will come in between and that's how you'll see the depth of the tree. So, with that, don't forget to click like and subscribe. <laughs> that's what everybody says. All right, guys. I know I should put that on my short. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.